All right, there's a couple of things I want to get done today. I think I want to get a few more of these watch posts down. And I also want to clear a couple more missions to hopefully get a town to fully support us this time around. So let's pick up a mission. Let's get a logistics. City supplies. Perfect. So let's get this thing banked up into that box. I think city supplies are generally going to be the best mission type for us in this kind of playthrough. Simply because we get not only a QRF so that we can steal some supplies, but also a massive amount of um, support in a town. And on top of that, it reduces our aggression. Alright, I'm pretty certain I know which house I want to hide in for this one. I've used this one so many times. It's like a, a staple tactic of mine by now. No, don't get back in the car. Unlock cargo, there we are. Now let's hide. I've got two minutes to set up here. Okay, we've got enemies nearby now. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the military police that I saw on my way into the town. There were some around. Yeah, down there. Apparently some up there too. Can't actually see anyone at the moment though. Oh, there we are. I saw a couple blood splats from that. The pink shirt guy spawned in right on top of where uh, I shot at him though. So where's he going to? I think I'm going to have to go in and clear that building. But the most annoying part is that we'll have still spawned a QRF for this box in one of the outposts. There's one. He's down. So just one more in this building in front. Yeah, the QRF will still be coming from the outpost. Which means we are still going to have like a full vehicle of troops to deal with. Okay, he should be in here. Though he's now far enough away from the box that it's uh, counting down again. It's weird, he like cleared his way through the building and then just ran off. There he is. I think that killed him. Yeah, he's down. I think I can hear an engine now. Convoy objective. Where? Oh, from there? Money convoy. Wouldn't have been a bad target, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. And the town's more important than a bit of money. I can daisy train cars if I need money. Which I might do on my way back, actually. That's the supplies sorted. What was that? Oh, there's a safe down there with some cars. Oh no, it might have blown up my off-road, actually. So you don't, so... Yep, my off-road's gone. Joy. Right, well, I'm not carrying any equipment I can't afford to lose. All this stuff's in unlimited supply. Yeah, there's my off-road. That building's coming down. Let's see what we can do about reviving these guys. Ah, perfect, and we just got Nagards on our side now, too. We've got a Prestige Change, and we've got our Orchestra up there. Yes, that's Prestige Changes, but no change in War Level. Oh no, there we go, War Level 2. So we do get an increase in War Level by capturing towns. Though I don't know if they really class towns as a priority objective at this sort of level. 
We'll have to wait and find out. Because it is just outposts that they launch attacks against this early in the game, isn't it? Oh, I thought that was another military police guy there. He had a beret on. Right, let's release him, and we need to find a vehicle. We can come back for some gear in a bit, but there's no point taking it if we can't, you know, take it. You know what I mean? Doesn't look like there's actually any free vehicles around in the guards here, so I might just have to run all the way back to Akios. Because I did see a few on my way in. Yeah, I suppose that's what I might be doing right now. So just follow this road all the way back up and head back to base. I can of course fast travel to these towns now that they're under my control, which is great. But places like this up here, maybe a bit further up like there, I want to get stuff like uh, the fast travel points in. Just because I can't fast travel in those areas normally. And they're just good to hop between for objectives and such. Here we go, I find myself a hatchback. Enemies are spotting me. Probably from Agios. They'll be like right behind the hill or something. As is that Civ. Prestige change. Wonderful. It's probably the uh, roadblock just up here, to be honest. So let's head towards the town, and we should be able to go under cover. No, that's not working, and I'm in the town now, so I'm just going to have to keep my eyes open for the military police. What I do want, however, is any car I can get my mitts on. I'm going to use tow ropes to sort of daisy chain them together and drag a lot back to base. Oh, there we go, we're under cover now. Not that it matters, I've got to get out of the car to daisy chain something to this one. I don't remember if I ever really tried this, but if I can drag a ton of cars back to base, that'd be good. Tell you what, I may as well just deal with these guys here, haven't I? I thought he was surrendering at first, though. Yeah, it looked like the first guy went down, but he just got back up. And it looked like the second guy was surrendering, so I didn't want to shoot him. Oh well. Wait. Is that another one? Or is that a sieve? I'm gonna risk it, I think that's a sieve. Then again, that is a smoke grenade. You know, it's probably like a bush or something, isn't it? I always do this, I see things that look like people's faces. You see it's like, kind of brownie orange. Looks similar to this guy's tan. Is that like a bin or something? Oh no, it's a surf. Okay. So it was a person. They did have a hat on. Just not the same kind of hat. Yeah, there he is. You can see him better now. Alright, let's get these two released. Hopefully, uh, offset the aggression I got from running that sieve of. Release him. Oh, they've got MXs. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll take all of that. Uh, which vehicle is the most important? I'm probably going to take this fuel vehicle and stash it at base. So I'll put the uh, gear that I pick up off these bodies into this. You know, if I can get inside it without climbing on it. There we are. And we're under cover, which means there's nobody around to shoot us. Yeah, they both had MXs. This guy had two pairs of binoculars because, you know. Yes, I guess. But anyway, let's get these things daisy chained together. And by that, I mean I'm going to tell something else to the back of the hatchback here. And see how well that works. So we find a patrol. Where's that? Down there? And there's also a POW rescue, was that one? In the radio tower. Might be worth hitting that. 
Okay, let's get the cards past this one. And then I'm going to get out and manually line this one up. Just to make sure I don't explode anything when they turn around. Alright, there we go. Deploy ropes. And attach. Another patrol? Well, there now. Alright. Oh, that's glorious. Look at that. That's thumbnail material right there. I do need to be careful because there's some more police up this side of the town. Somebody was spotting me. I can only assume they're up in the hills because I'm free to go by the look of it. So that's a fuel vehicle which I'm probably going to garage. The van in the back, I'm probably going to garage that too. And then we'll just sell the hatchback. And that'll pay for the, uh, the next off-road we use. What I would like to get my hands on is a Ural or something, like a Camaz next to. Because we can get two ammo boxes in the back of it. So I could drive up to like Oreo Castro Castle or something. And then pick up the box and then get the one from the radio tower on the way back down too. Just steal a ton of supplies. Ooh, but one thing I should do before I do that though, is I should go and hit that roadblock near Nagards now that we've taken it over. Alright, I do remember doing this before. Where if I didn't put the tow ropes away and then I garaged one vehicle, it would delete everything attached to it. So let's just sort that out. Garage that. Oh, and it does automatically load the ammo box when I garage things too, doesn't it? Garage that. And Commander, sell vehicle. Oh, we only got 25 for it. I suppose that's fair. Like, anti-exploit, isn't it? I need to get a bit more ammo. Well, I just said I can do with a Ural or a Camaz, and there's both. In the town here, on my way through. Hopefully they'll still be there when I get back. And then we can take them. But since I'm in the area as well, I may as well, you know... Deal with a few pests. There we go. Make sure I'm not about to get shot, and then, uh... Get a quick revive on the go. Hopefully, quick. I think it did just shoot them in the legs. It looks like it's only their legs that are bloody. But if you're trying to get people down for the purposes of reviving them, shooting them in the legs is just, like, the way to do it. Because as you saw there, that was, what, like, 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds worth of revive? Compared to potentially minutes, if you hit them in the chest or head. Assuming they survive a headshot, which they sometimes do. It also depends on things like the caliber of weapon you use, how many times you shoot them. So, you know, like how much damage you do to them. Over the top of how much you kill them. So yeah, that one took quite a while. Probably because I shot him an extra time or something. Can I get this guy released? No, I'll just lose ammo box first, then he should be ready when I get back to him. So I'll take his guns. Might have unlimited MXs soon, actually, which would be quite interesting. I'll keep hold of their grenades, because I could probably use those myself pretty soon. Be a decent way to attack the rod block. But given how valuable some of this gear is, I think I'm just going to take this back to base and then come back out. Yeah, I'll leave the Ural, I'll tow the Zamac. So let's deploy the tower ups here, and attach there. I dropped my rifle, I think. Yeah, there it is. Should be really careful spinning this thing around so I don't blow myself up. Like you see there, the tower ups are attached to the floor, not the vehicle. Ah oh, yeah, I forgot how slow you drive when you're towing a, uh, a heavier vehicle. May as well get out and switch these around, haven't I? 
right, so that's the Zamac garage. Got the MXs and stuff loaded into the ammo box. So now I can just head back out. Well, these guys respond pretty quick. They have MXs. Is this my life now? Am I just farming gear off of this town? He did not want to die. That second one, he's going to take forever to revive. It's unfortunate, but I suppose it's just the way it goes. It's better than getting killed and losing the off-road. Oh, he didn't actually take that long. Fair enough. I guess I just missed a ton. Either way, there's plenty of weapons and armor to take back with me. And I have absolutely no issues in doing that. The only issues I really do have is that I just don't have attachments. I've got weapons, I've got ammo, I've got a couple vests, not enough to take out on just random jobs like this, but I've got some. So as soon as I get attachments, then I'm pretty much hit an endgame loadout without even really trying. Let's get one of those grenades over there. It took a while to go down. Let's tell the guy. Did the grenade get him? Oh, it did. Is he dead? No, he's alive. Well, this is going remarkably well. I suppose that's the cue for an Apache to just blast over that hill over there and rain hellfire down upon me. That's actually a pretty damn good haul. So that's four MXs, four of these pistols, 16 magazines there. I'll make that 20. I see that ammo becoming infinite at least by the time that I'm done here. Maybe you need a couple more rifles, but that shouldn't be too hard to sort out. Alright now, succeeding with taking out this roadblock here is not just going to help because, you know, it removes a roadblock. But to be able to take out these uh, radio towers I've mentioned, I'm going to want night vision goggles to sneak in and plant explosives. Well, I think you only really get night vision goggles at night. Like they're not equipped with them otherwise. But is it not here? Might be a bit further up the road. Yeah, the, uh, they don't really deploy with NVGs, unless it's night time already. So I'm thinking that if I go up and steal an ammo box at night time, I should get night vision goggles out of it. And yeah, it seems like this roadblock's done a bit of a runner. Oh, I'm not going to complain. It's one less problem for me to have to deal with. I just spotted the military police in the area up here. I've been having real issues with trying to fast travel around. It's because the area is just full of hostiles. So I couldn't travel around this town. I couldn't travel around the guards, of course, because the radio tower there. I think they're both just dead. Yeah. Oh, at least I can take the vests. I'm probably just going to drop my M4 so I can take this other rifle as well. Take that beret. Don't want to waste time loading the vehicle up if I can just drop stuff I don't need anymore. But yeah, I can pretty much just pull my own blood out back out of the box and not charge it to myself. So that makes it a bit pointless, you know, deliberately keeping that weapon I can replace in like five seconds time. And apparently there's still enemies nearby. 